Anbang Insurance Group's bid for Starwood fell through on Monday. The Starwood Hotel Group has now said that it is going for Marriott's higher bid at $13.6 billion. Now, while it may be, Anbang is also pursuing other targets in its push to diversify its whole billion dollars, U.S. hotel. But it was just a fraction of what Anbang would pay in the next few years to buy foreign assets. Last year, it bought several foreign insurance companies, including U.S. Fidelity and Guarantee Life, for $1.6 billion. It paid similarly large sums for companies in South Korea and Belgium. This March, it handed over $6.5 billion for a group of Blackstone's luxury properties, including the Four Seasons in Washington, D.C. And Ann Bang bid nearly $13 billion for Starwood. There's a flight now from Chinese investors in their own country to uh, countries that have assets that are a lot more significant and substantial in jurisdictions that are a lot safer. Acquisitions by Chinese buyers are being compared to the 1980s when the Japanese paid eye-popping prices for high-profile U.S. real estate, including Rockefeller Center. Chinese buyers are also paying top dollar, even though there's no guarantee of a quick profit. Many of them that acquired in the 80s uh, wasn't until the mid-90s uh, or late 90s that they started to see it uh, go back about again. And at that time, many of them had sold it already. Tuna Amobi at S&P Global Market Intelligence agrees that real estate is always risky, but he isn't convinced Anbang is overpaying for its U.S. assets. There's an argument that we're somewhere near the top of the um, cycle in the hotel industry fundamentals. However, um, looking out the next several years, I, I do believe that the fundamentals are in place for um, continued growth. Anbang's real estate investments may turn out to be money well spent and maybe not. Despite the risks, and even with China's economy slowing down, it doesn't look like Chinese companies are going to stop their foreign shopping spree anytime soon. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.